Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and God bless you. You hear this scripture a lot, and it's used a lot, but do we really understand this? I was uh, looking on Facebook, and a brother in Christ um, put this up about does the church really understand? Do believers really understand First Peter 3.15? And that's a good, good question. Um... Verse Peter 3.15 reads, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense or an answer to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is within you, with meekness and fear, or that can be gentleness and reverence. Um, there's a lot in that verse, but you want to understand the context so you know what it's talking about. You know, so to get kind of the context, we'll start back in verse 13. Here Peter is addressing those that he's writing to and he's talking about suffering for, you know, the right thing. Suffering for what's right against suffering for what's wrong. Um, and he says, in verse 13 he says, And who is he who will harm you if you become followers of that of what is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed. And do not be afraid of their threats nor troubled. But, and then he goes into verse 15. Then in verse 16 he says, Having a good conscience that when they defame you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. For it is better if it is the will of God to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. So you can see in the context that this deals with how to answer, and there goes the clock, how to um, answer your adversaries or those who are opposed to Christianity. How you answer them. How you give a reasonable defense. Uh, apologia. Which we get our word apologetics. Um, a verbal defense. That's what that means. Um, basically. Do you know what you believe in. The Christ Jesus that you believe in. The hope that is within you. That hope of salvation. Knowing how to answer. With that. That has nothing to do. Of arguing, arguing with your brother in Christ. Knowing how to throw out a good fight. That's not what that is talking about. It's about defending Christ within you. When you're being persecuted. When Christianity is being attacked. When the one who is against Christianity is asking you. About the hope that's within you. And so how can you. How does that take place today? Well one of the ways can be. Is what happened with me. This weekend. In the Bible study I'm doing. With the men. Who are all unbelievers. And. We were discussing the Bible. And discussing issues on. Um. The love of money versus, you know, loving Christ, serving Christ and not mammon. And the brother kind of, well not kind of, actually stopped and said, look, I don't believe in Jesus. This is what I do believe and correct me in what I do believe about God. He said, I don't believe in Jesus. This is what I do believe. Show me what is the right belief. Now before he was attacking Christianity. And then he looked at me and asked me that question. That was the time that 1 Peter 3 verse 15 was to take place. And I answered him according to the word of God. So. I hope that can help us get some understanding of what Jesus Christ is speaking through Peter in these verses here.
if you look at Psalm 119 verse 46 you will see it says I will speak of your testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed you can also get an idea of this when Jesus appeared before uh, Pontius Pilate look how he answered him look how he answered him look how when he was put on trial see when the ones who were opposed to Christianity the ones that were opposed to Christ asked him look how he answered now a lot of te people get meekness or gentleness confused and think you just supposed to be all nice and just in the sometimes the answer the truth is gonna cut and it's gonna hurt but don't be rude about it so I hope again that this little small devotion or discussion on this will help us see we're not to be cutting our brothers down our brothers in Christ we're not to be beating them that's not answering th them that's not what that scripture is talking about it's not to be slicing the sword against your brother but when those who hate you ask of the hope that is within you can you answer do you know what you believe in you will stand alone in Jesus Christ Will you be able to trust Christ to answer those that hate you? This has been Difference Maker saying to you, dear brethren, God bless you. And may his grace be with you.